Hey fellow Trashioners, Woody here. First, let me say I'm absolutely thrilled to be assisting Jules take the Traction platform to the next level. We have some grand plans for the future and we're really looking forward to getting your input onto where we go with this product. I also wanted to share just a little snippet of the background, the history of Traction, uh, probably one of many that we'll, uh, we'll be giving to you over the coming months. Uh, but this one uh, I find truly fascinating. Uh, and it really starts with Jules's inspiration, his initial inspiration about how he approached writing the software. Most of the DAW platforms that were established back in the late 90s, early 2000s, they really tried to take the art of audio engineering as if you were an engineer in a big studio, they try to digitize that studio workflow. So you'll see a lot of the influence from big mixing consoles uh, using tape machines and that same inherent workflow was essentially digitized into, the, into what became now the, the modern general purpose DAW. Of course, uh, Nuance have emerged on the scene uh, you know, during the 2000s, uh, great products such as uh, you know, the Reasons and Ableton Live, such as that, which have more of a influence towards a particular genre of music, but certainly the general platforms, the Pro Tools, uh, is the obvious one, um, you know, really adheres to that classic uh, workflow from a studio. Uh, now, Jules really approached this problem from a different perspective. Uh, he at heart is a programmer uh, that loves music. And so he cites a completely different path as being his main inspiration for the way he wrote Traction. He actually cites a guy called Larry Tesla, a true code genius uh, who went on, uh, well at the time really, was chief scientist at Apple Computers and went on to then work at the fledgling Amazon during its greatest expansion. His, uh, his thought on writing software uh, or his main mantra was that software should not have any separate modes. Um, all the tools that are required to do any sort of functionality should be right there available at your fingertips. And you can see the fruits of this in devices such as the modern iPad and iPhone uh, that are some of the most intuitive uh, technology devices ever produced. Um, and so Jules cites this guy really as being his main inspiration. And so when you look at traction, it's fundamentally different to the other general purpose doors that are out there. Uh, all, the, all the editing tools are right there on the audio clips or the MIDI clips. Uh, the object panel at the bottom of the window updates depending on exactly what function you're trying to perform. So, you know, and that's just scratching the surface of this, this thinking throughout the software. Um, but I wanted to share that because it's fundamentally different and part of the unique characteristics that make traction one of the easiest and, and most uh, inspirational and rapid to, to learn pieces of software for creating, recording, editing, mixing and sharing music on your Mac and PC. So there'll be more snippets to come and I'm really thoroughly looking forward to meeting as many of you as possible in our Tractioneer seminars and we can share ideas for future, future features and uh, really figure out where we're going to take this platform. Thanks.